Hello, my name is Peter Schulte, and I was a part of the youth group at Sugarland Baptist Church. My name's Betsy Peterson. Uh, used to be Betsy Runnels when I was here in the youth group. Um, I started coming when I was a freshman in high school and stayed until I graduated in 2009. Another thing that I got to do while I was in the youth group was become a member of the leadership team. And through that, I had a chance to lead other students, whether that was through Bible studies or just through encouraging them um, in many different ways. The, the best memories that I had probably were just having people that really saw a lot of value in my life and were willing to invest in me, really discipled me in how to know Jesus as a friend, how to spend time with Him, how to pray, and really make Him a part of my entire life, not just my church life. My experience learning how to become a servant in the leadership team of the youth group encouraged me and motivated me and kind of taught me some of the skills that I use even now, so just how to I care for people, how to put their needs above mine and not just focus on having my needs met. Anybody can follow the rules and anybody can, uh, you know, serve in a church, but I, I think I really got a foundation of how to love Jesus and how to do things out of that place instead of this obligation of trying to please Him. I really got to know Him as friend and King and Lord, um, which really just compelled me to do what I'm doing now. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm in graduate school at Georgia Tech and I'm studying engineering here. And um, while I'm studying, I have the opportunity to get to know a lot of international students who happen to be here. And um, I reach out to them and just volunteer my time to practice English with them, to take them to do all kinds of things around Atlanta that they couldn't do on their own since they don't have cars and um, also look for opportunities to share the gospel with them. I got married last summer and my husband and I just, you know, asked God, where do you want us to go? What do you need? Where, where is there a need in the church? And we felt like he said to come back to Houston actually, which was surprising for me because that wasn't exactly on my list of desirable places to be. Um, about a year ago with uh, some friends of ours from college, we moved to the Clear Lake area to plant a church there. I'm really grateful for all the things that I've learned growing up in the youth group, and I really hope that some of the youth that are in the youth group today will, will uh, grow up and do great things for the Lord. We've seen God move in a lot of ways. We're seeing a lot of people um, give their life to Jesus for the first time and experience healing and community and just the life that walking with God and being part of the local church can bring. Uh, so it's been really exciting and encouraging to see that it doesn't just happen overseas, it happens here too.